Hiya guys, welcome back once again to another Indie Spection. This time for you I've got the awesome Tele Glitch. This is another game that is already available on Desura. Um, it's a top down shooter roguelike, best way to describe it really. Um, don't adjust your set, we are on a black screen at the moment with a few buttons at the top. Um, this is just a demo that I am playing. Uh, the full game is seven ninety nine. That's in British pounds up on Desura at the moment. Um, I haven't played it yet. I've seen one or two videos, so I decided I was going to give the demo a blast uh, before deciding whether or not to buy the full game. So this is what you're going to see in front of you now. So let's press play. I've had, I've had a quick go of the tutorial just to work out the controls. So we'll jump straight onto level one. Um, I do believe you can only play the first level in the demo, or possibly the first couple of levels. So let's give it a crack. We are working on a master teleporter that could transport you anywhere, to unlimited distances. But something went wrong, something came through from the other side. First we thought it was a minor glitch, but it quickly turned into a nightmare. The facility AI became aggressive and the military robots turned on us. The space of the complex started warping. Rooms and hallways would randomly reorganise themselves, as if following some twisted pattern. I decided to seal myself in here and wait for help. I've been hiding out here for weeks, but nobody came and I am running out of food. My only chance is using the regular teleporters of the facility to get back to the master teleporter, and then teleport myself back to Earth. And here we are. That's me in the middle there, this little green man walking around. Funky looking graphics, I think they're absolutely brilliant. Um, Again, reminders of a, a top-down version of Another World. If you've never played Another World, um, look at you, you must be too young to remember it. Because it was awesome. Moving around using the WASD keys. Um, we aim with the right mouse button and shoot with the left. If we just hit the left mouse button without aiming, we get out our knife and try to stab somebody. Again, like I've said, this is a roguelike, so permadeath is a feature. Once you die, you've lost your character. You've got to start again from scratch, which I love. I don't love dying, don't get us wrong. But I love the idea of uh, having to be careful or die and start from scratch. Now things, these things here, anything you find with like two white lines either side of it means you can interact with it. Press space to interact. You can press space to skip all that. I'm not going to sit there and read everything for you guys. This is just an indie spection, so if you are interested in the story um, and the game, you can always jump onto Desura and go and purchase it. I do apologise if you can hear me uh, keyboard keys in the background. I do just use a headset microphone, which is, it's it's quite good to be honest. But shit, oh! Um, but yeah, it does pick up background noise quite a bit, like the noise of my keyboard. Picked up a microchip, programmable eight-bit microprocessor. Does that look like a, a damaged wall? Highly explosive, right, okay. Just threw a grenade. It's opened up a bit of wall. And another bit of wall. This, so I need to blow up this bit as well. And I think I might uncover a hidden room. Yes. What am I picking up here? AGL1, what's that? Adhesive grenade. So I'm guessing that's going to stick to my enemy. Hardware, what's that? A box full of random metal junk looks really useful. <laughs> well, if it's useful, why is it called junk? Uh, I don't know what I picked up there. Oh, did I pick up a revolver? Yeah, I think I might have picked up a revolver there. 
Right, so I knew about that hidden wall. I mean, every level is procedurally generated. So every time you start the game, you're going to get a different layout for every level. Um, but in the tutorial, I did read a little computer screen which said um, you can come across damaged walls. And if you use a ranged weapon or bomb, then you can break through them and find yourself some good stuff. Oh shit. Uh, the fast moving, I tell you. It can be hard to get a, uh, a good shot away sometimes. Health, I'm on 88 out of 100. I do need to reload my ammo though. It takes a little bit of time to reload, which I like. It's not just instant. It wouldn't be in real life, so it shouldn't be in game. Whoa. Whoa, how, how hard are you? I think I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. How hard was he? Thank God for that. As you can see, every time I kill a different monster, it's coming up with monster database updated. Um, that's like I've just said. Every time you kill a new monster, um, it does add it to your bestiary, so you can read up on it and find out how to kill it easier next time. Hopefully, possibly. So again, that's just giving us some background about the planet that we are on, I believe. Health is really bad. It's really low now. Nail box. Box of nails. Sharp. <laughs> Not sure what I can do with those at the moment, but this is a dead end. Can't see any more damaged walls at the moment, so we'll head down. Oh, look, was that one? No. You can always press tab to check your map. Use the WESD keys to move around. Oh shit. Oh crap! I didn't realise that uh, I needed to reload. Could have been worse than what it was. Two nail boxes now. I love the way how you can push the, like, the oil drums and stuff out the way. It's great. I might look like I'm a shit shot guys, but honestly, when they're running around they can be very hard to hit. Oh, I'm going to be dead any second. Take one or two more hits and I'm a goner, unless I find some kind of med kit. Teleport a location marked on the map. Give us a look at that. Oh Christ. So we've got two teleporters. That must be the one that I turned up in. And that's the one I need to get to. Quite some distance away as well by the look of it. Pretty sure I'm going to die before I get there. <laughs> you can craft if I press C. Oh, nail bomb. Can gun. Oh shit, I didn't mean to make anything there. I've made a nail bomb. Never mind. Auto pistol one? Sounds good to me, why not? I don't know what it does. Amazing damage and rate of fire, medium accuracy. Why not? So, yeah, pressing C. 
lets you it automatically tells you what you can craft with the stuff that you have in the inventory as well. So it's not as if you need to know the um, the ingredients to make certain things. Oh, med kit! Yes, med kit. Lovely, bit more health back. Still need a lot more, but that'll do for now. Uh oh. Oh, nice. This gun is awesome now, man. Just means I'm going to use a ton of bullets. And I've only got five left. Shit. Knife skills. Oh shit, another one. Oh. Is that is that a, yeah. That to me looks like a damaged wall. What? It is man, it's a damaged wall, surely. Or not, it's just tricking us into thinking it's a damaged wall, so I've wasted a couple of bombs there. And that's a damaged wall as well, isn't it? Or is it? Oh, I killed myself! <laughs> you were not fast enough. Damn right I wasn't. Finished. Alright. Finish demo to unlock level 3. Okay. Now I think with this being the demo, I've got a feeling it's going to be the same layout as what we've just seen. Yeah, it is, yeah. But I think I'm pretty sure if we quit the game, come back in, and start at level 1, it would be a different layout. Just going to have another quick blast, see if we can do. A little bit better than what we just did. I did have low health and then I blew myself up with a bloody nail bomb. We can combine two RDX 250s into one RDX 500 which gives us an even more powerful grenade. Don't want to do that yet though, I'd rather have two separate ones. That's better. Stop cheating. Is this the same layout? I think it is. I don't remember this being here last time, though, unless I just... Oh shit. Unless I just didn't come down this way. I don't remember it though. Another nail box there. I really don't remember coming into this bit last time. Cheeky bugger got a couple of little hits on us there. Storage cabinets marked on map. Well, I mean, that's only good when the rest of the map's there, really, isn't it? Not much point to that when the rest of the map's just black. Oh, it's one of these hard beasts again, wasn't it? Well, at least I know now that they move slow, so just keep your distance from them. And back up this way. The camera auto-rotates. That's not me moving the camera around, guys. It does it by itself.
So again, it's got some uh, great sound and the graphical styling is brilliant. Love the way, you know, it's got like a full-on fog of war system and stuff going on. Oh, that was shooting. That was some bloody good shooting. Tin of canned meat. Oh shit. Bullets, shells, none of that. Grenade and some ammo. Lovely stuff. More nails. So is it just me being stupid or has the layout actually changed? And is that a solid wall? Yes, it looks like it is. So I guess it's only damaged looking walls that you can get through. Not walls of different colours. Because wasn't that... I mean... I... I'm pretty sure I can't zoom out. No, you can't zoom out or zoom in. You can only move around. That definitely is a different layout, isn't it? Because there's no, like, hidden, breakable wall like there was last time. I'm going to assume it's a slightly different layout. I've already been in there. It's down this way we need to go. Now that's a just that's a, a wall that needs blowing up, isn't it? Can I use me gun? Yes, you can use your gun. Good stuff. Hardware and AGL one. Now let's see what we can combine. What you doing, man? I didn't do that. Right, so you've got to. Press C, and then you've got to scroll between them. A PZ Faust. Disposable rocket launcher, one shot only. Amazing damage and rate of fire. Can gun. Yeah, let's make one of them, why not? Is that going to be a bomb, though? I've got a feeling it is. Um. Okay, let's try it. Holy shit! <laughs> that was awesome. Obviously, I wish I'd have kept it for enemies now, but... I really needed to see what it was and how it worked. Obviously, I, I could have made that uh, Uzi-style pistol. But, uh it's just a good way of wasting bullets when you're not really a good shot, to be honest. Nice slow moving one, even though he was... Um, quite well equipped defensively. He took a few shots, but at least he couldn't catch us straight away. Teleporter location marked on the map. Good stuff. Dead end. Oh, what a shot. It's one of those games where it would, be, it would be really easy to treat it like a, a proper shooter game. You know, just like run around like a headless chicken. Who the hell's that? What the hell? What's going on? Die. Jesus Christ. 
What on earth was that? I'm gonna have a look at the uh, the monster database soon to have a check of that. Right, this here, this is where space time is warping, and if you touch that, instant death. So we're going nowhere near that. But that way is a dead end. Let's quickly check the map. So only one way to go, and that's straight down that big place opposite. Yeah, there. What the bloody hell? Yeah, the layout's definitely changed in this this time, guys. Um, it started off very similar up the top here, but it, it's got a hell of a lot different further down here. Um, and we've got to make way all the way down there by the look of it to get out of level one. So let's start. And um, let's see what we can craft. Got another can gun we can make. Another nail bomb. What is auto? Auto pistol is only pistol and hardware. So I can still make a can gun or a nail bomb as well. Right, okay, let's make this auto pistol now. Cool. Another can gun. Should we make a can gun? Yeah, can gun. It was a lot safer than the nail bomb, wasn't it? And that's it. That's all we can uh, craft. Tastes like cardboard stays edible for 200 years. Now, I wonder if eating this will give us some health. Yes, it'll give us 10 health. So it's not going to help much, but anything helps. At least a little bit. Another dead end. Oh man, reload man, honestly. Uh. Oh, what? Out of ammo for me auto pistol already. So I had to switch to my 9mm. Health back down to 30. I've got two more canned meats, so. so back up to 50 now. See, again, that looks a bit like a damaged wall, especially because you're getting that little bit of light through it, but I don't think it is. I think it needs to be a bit more damaged than that before you can get through it. Like, again, there, that one looks a bit damaged as well, but. We'll give it a try. I don't think it's going to work. I think it's gonna, this is going to be a waste. Yeah, but good to know. Don't waste stuff unless it really looks like it's uh, damaged. Having a good old look around. Waste of time that room was. Let's have a look at the map. Oh, there was another bit up there, wasn't there? Yeah. So I think this is the way I actually have to go. So let's turn around for now, because I want to check out this place. Yeah, so that's a dead end there. Look, we can't get past there. I think we've been in there, haven't we? Yeah. Oh, uh, shit. More hardware. Can make another auto pistol, but there's no point. I've already got one. With no bullets. Is it 9mm automatic pistol? Oh shit. So literally we've got two bullets left total. Another dead end there, but we've got something here. 
just a bit more information there. Like I say, if you are interested in what the information has to say, oh shit! Then you can always go and download the demo yourselves. Kill it, man, kill it! Right, nearly dead, guys. Got eight health left. So unless we find a med kit. Oh, it's game over, basically, unless I find a med kit. Shit. Shit, shit, run away, run away. It's coming. Oh. Four health. I think I'm safe to say uh, this is the end. My only friend, the end. Uh, look on the map. We're getting a lot closer to the uh, the teleporter. But I don't think we're going to make our way through to the end of the level, to be honest. Shit! I've got a bit of a plan here, but I don't know if it's going to work. Fuck! Sorry guys, didn't mean to swear. <laughs> right, got some health back now. Got no bullets. work quite well. Pretty impressed with myself. Back to six bullets. I really could do with more bullets. Keeping an eye out for destroyed walls or broken walls as well. They only have some nice weapons and ammo behind them. That's my preferred way of dealing with enemies. Get them to chase you. Dive back to a doorway. It can make it a little bit easier at times. And once again, we are back to using my knife. Shit. Get in! Get in! That was awesome, man. Destroyed wall? Yeah, let's get to... Oh, shit! Play it. Dick Steel, play it. Wait, it's disappeared? What happened to that thick steel plate? Oh, there it is. So, I'm going to need to find something to blow up that bit of wall before I can get into it. It's a bit annoying. I don't have any bullets left whatsoever. Right, so don't forget, there's a destroyable wall there. Oh, nice. It's exactly what I needed. Um, Hopefully we'll have another gun or two and some ammo behind here. Nice. 
Another med kit. I like it. Was that it though? Med kit in a tube. Oh, detector. Nail gun. Oh, I don't have any nails left though, do I? So there's no point making a nail gun now. Shall we make that? Detector. Do I need to have it equipped for it to work? I'm really not too sure. Well, I didn't detect that, did it? Pistol, pistol. Well, that detector's a piece of shit. If it's supposed to do anything, it hasn't done anything yet. So I'm kind of wishing I'd made a nail gun instead at the moment. L5. Bloody hell. Shoots five grenades. And a PZ Faust. It's a one shot rocket launcher. Nice. Can't wait to give that a try. Class. It's another shotgun. Oh, another tube. Right. All I can make is two PZ Fausts. Either with empty cans or with a tube. Empty cans. Look at that bad boy. <laughs> nice. Oh, look at the smoke that came out the back. That's awesome. Uh. Box there, did I? I'm doing a lot better than I thought I was going to do. Then, um, oh, look, it's just through that door at the end. So we could go right there now, I suppose, but I like to explore. I want to see. What's behind all the doors before I leave the level? You know what it's like, you know, you'll be thinking for the rest of the game. Oh, I just wonder if I'd have found something behind that other door. So I do like to have a good look around everywhere first. Oh, is that a broken wall? I do believe it is. Med kit, thank you. Reload that revolver. A couple of nail boxes. Can't craft anything at the moment though. No. 
Just having a quick look at the map. Yeah, I'm, I'd happily say we've been everywhere and discovered everything on this level so far. So we just need to come out here and turn right. Hey, hey, hey! The situation is much worse than I expected. It seems that the non-human combatants have been let loose all over the facility and they are programmed to attack on site. The facility life support seems to be working, but only at emer emergency capacity. Almost all weapon lockers and food reserves have been emptied, probably by the zombies. The military biology sector will be a tough one, for it is the center of the military purpose life forms. Life cloned, mutated and breeded for a single... breeded? Bred, possibly? For a single nasty purpose. I bet they're all hungry. 21 minutes 48 seconds to complete that first level. Accuracy, uh, that's shockingly bad. <laughs> Eight items combined, three out of three secrets found. Killed one giant zombie, six large mutants, five zombies, 51 mutants. There we are. Level two. But that's where I'm going to leave this off, guys. Thank you very much for watching another indie spection. This has been Teleglitch. Thanks for watching. Go out and buy it. See you again next time. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.